E2, the next step in infotazine evolution. Hi, I'm Matt Grayson, and today on eFotoZine TV, I'm going to be taking you through a couple of features found on Lightroom 2. So I'll uh, just launch the program, and once it's loaded, you're presented with the library module. Uh, you can see here the five modules that are available, uh, and current owners of Lightroom 1. Uh, we'll also see a cleaner area on the left here, uh, which is what uh, Adobe have done updating the library module area, amongst other things. Um, and then you'll see down to the side the quick develop area has remained as well as keywords in, just in case you want to update or remove keywords uh, for the images that are available on here. There's also some previous suggestions. If you wanted to import any images you just click on this button and when you're done you can export them clicking on the one next to it uh, to move them to a different folder. Now all the fun is in the develop area. Now we can click on one area just in the grid here so we can see it. Um, clicking on the lift mouse button will zoom in like this and then you can move around uh, the image so you can see it in close up. Um, clicking again will zoom it back out and then going over to the develop area will bring all the, uh, all the more intense developing areas. Now the first feature I'm going to show you is the retouch brush, which is the paintbrush icon in the right corner under the histogram. Uh, you can see it right there. And this will allow you to change global features in a more localised area. So what we're going to do first is we're going to change the exposure of the background foliage. And all we do is just choose the exposure and we just paint over where we want to change. And it just changes the area that you're painting over there. Now I'm doing it really dark to start off with just to mainly show you the feature. But also to, it, it helps for your outlines to make sure that you've covered all the areas you want to cover. Now you'll see just by scrolling the mouse wheel uh, the brush can be large and enlarged or, or made smaller uh, which is much quicker than the right click and uh, change the brush size that you'd find on the uh, on the photoshop uh, main photoshop cs uh, package so once we've done that we can change the intensity just by using this slider here uh, we'll bring it down to about half and that's uh, that's still much more darker than what it originally was. We're also going to darken the uh, darken the rock here, but we're not going to do it as hard. Now you see that little grey spot just in the top corner. That's the start area of our my previous one, and this is how. Um, Lightroom kind of works in a, in a layers way. It doesn't actually have layers in the in the sense that you all know and love, um, but it does create multiple areas that you can use to work with. So, if I want to then make further adjustments to the foliage, I just have to click on that little grey spot, and that will uh, that will highlight by having the black dot that you can see on the one I'm working on here on the rock. Uh, the black dot means that this is the one that I'm using at the moment. Uh, clicking on the other grey spot will change the black dot to there and that will let me adjust the foliage. Just uh, sharpen the lizard just to, uh, I've already sharpened it overall in the image. Uh, I'm just going to give it a little bit extra. Um, I just think it needed it on the close-up that we looked at before. And then what we're going to do is we're going to change the colour, well we're going to boost the colour in fact more and more appropriately. I've selected a light green, you can change the intensity again on the amount bar, slider bar. Um, we're just going to go over the areas of the lizard that are green and uh, just give a little boost uh, just to show you what it can be like. There we go, there's the green really punched out but we don't want it that high obviously so we'll just knock it back down to about 15 and also the eye is not looking all too uh, all too saturated so we'll just knock a little bit of extra yellow into its eye there there we go and that gives it a nice nice yellow punch another feature that's available on uh, Lightroom 2 is the graduated filter now I've loaded this image up that I took in uh, on a trip to Dubai of the uh, the famous hotel and uh, what we're going to do first, because it was a very gloomy day, so we're just going to mess around with the exposure, just brighten it up a little bit, uh, drag a little contrast into it, 
and uh, make it look overall nicer than what it what it was on the day. Um, you can see the, the the sky is just full of overhanging cloud, um, which was lovely to say the least. Uh, so I'll just mess around with the uh, clarity and virus. This is just on the basic settings and then we're going to go to the graduated filter which is this icon here next to the uh, retouch brush. Now choose a colour, I'm going to choose a blue just to knock some blue into the sky. So I think it deserves some. Uh, so we'll just click on the colour uh, palette there and then just choose our colour. And then we just drag the graduated filter down. Now you'll notice these three bars. The middle one is the positioning of the filter. Uh, and the other two are the, uh, the depth and, and strength of the, the actual line where it ends. Uh, so we'll drag that down a little bit and then you can, you can actually close these, uh, two, these two of the bars together to give it a more solid definite line. Uh, you can also rotate as I'm showing here the line so you can actually just drag and drop the uh, filter wherever you want to which is a really nice thing here. I'm just going to get that a little bit more. It's like a kind of feathering thing with the uh, with the two bars there. Now on the beach I'm just going to add a little bit extra contrast. I'm just knock that in at an angle there. And then we'll just mess around with the slider like we did with the retouch brush just to add or remove what we want to do. Just adjust that one. And then finally I think I'll just add a little bit of brightness onto the, uh, onto the bottom right corner of the C. And then we'll just put that in there like that. There we go. You may or may not notice that uh, this horizon here is not entirely straight, it's a little bit higher on the right side. Now there is a, uh, a horizon correction tool which is in the crop area here. Just click on this spirit level, drag it along the horizon and Lightroom will automatically straighten up the horizon for us. And uh, luckily that also means that my hotel has then been put onto the rule of thirds grid, uh, which means I'm keeping in line with some of the uh, rules of photography at least. <laughs> And there you have it, Lightroom 2 and some of its features. It's a lovely package designed for a precursor to CS3. Also supports the newest DSLRs and their RAW formats. At £209 it's a little bit of a hefty addition to uh, CS3 but the features I'm sure you'll agree are quite stunning.